everyone welcome back to AJ's paintings um, so I got a new commission that I am working on um, it's going to be for a bigger canvas so the canvas size is going to be 18 by 36 um, so what I do usually is if I have a bigger piece uh, I would do a smaller one first just to get an idea of all the colors and you know the composition and everything how it goes um, and then I will send it to my client and if they like it then I go ahead with the bigger piece but I do tell them that it's not going to be exactly the same of course this is fluid art so it is always um, you know something different going on uh, so it's not going to be exact but this is where I am going um, so for this I am going to do a smaller piece this is 10 by 20 is much smaller so she wants uh, calligraphy done um, and she kind of left it on me like what I want to do with it so what I decided to do uh, oh before I do that um, so she asked for the colors which I don't usually use that's why I'm, I was a bit concerned I was like okay maybe I need to try this first so she wants uh, uh, you know all the browns and uh, warm colors but mostly browns and uh, some maroon um, and then gold for the calligraphy um, and also gold in there so I decided to stick with what she wants <laughs> so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a split Dutch pour a split background Dutch pour um, so for the bottom I mix this um, this brown I don't know if you can see it properly um, it's um, kind of like um, like a um, raw umber it's close to that uh, so for this I mixed a red blue and some orange uh, red blue orange and then I added some yellow to it um, metallic yellow actually so give it a little bit of a shine so this is for my background and then for the top part of the background I'm going to use white um, and then I am going to use vermilion this is from artist loft metallic lemon yellow artist loft this is kind of like um, um espresso. Uh, I don't remember which one it was. I just mixed it and it was there. But it says the color uh, that kind of just like really dark espresso, uh, espresso um, with a bit of a shine to it. So I think I added some deco art uh, and uh, sheen, you know, those dazzling ones. Uh, I think I added that to this for, for the shine. And then I have burnt sienna. This is also artist loft. Uh, copper artist loft um, old gold no sorry this is gold by liquitex basics and old gold by artist loft and in here I have um, burnt sienna is it burnt sienna burnt umber no burnt umber this is burnt umber by golden um, and for this, uh, the ratio is a little bit different from my rest of the paints because all the other paints are mixed with 40 grams of paint, 80 grams of Floetrol and 30 grams of water. Uh, but this one, because this is golden, um, heavy body, uh, I had to add more water to it to make it the same consistency as the other paints. And then I have this, this kind of like a maroon. Uh, she wanted a maroon, so I did, I used this heavy body Liquitex. Um, it's very hard to, hard to pronounce. Quin, quin Ecrodine, something like that. Uh, magenta. Oops. Something dropped. Okay. Um, and then I mix some orange to it <clears throat> to get um, this. I know it's a little bit brighter um, than a maroon, but I think it will add, you know, um, more nice shades to it. Or I don't know. It will just look nice. That's what I think. <laughs> okay. So let's start. Um, I'm sorry if my camera is a little bit crooked today. Uh, my son just, you know, used the tripod, took my camera off and did something to it. And I am having a hard time getting it back to my usual uh, normal, you know, <laughs> settings. Um, anyways, uh, let's start. So for my background, this is a really, really nice color. I'm thinking I'm just going to do this because the bottom part is the one where the calligraphy is going to go I am not going to blow it too much too much on the bottom part I'm going to mostly focus blowing on top um, and maybe a little bit in here so that I can have enough space for the calligraphy okay so let's do this
So I'm going to spread it all really nice how I usually do. I'm going to go over the sides too, um, just so I can get a nice um, coverage. I should have I could have painted to the sides, but I think this should be fine. If usually if I'm using you know if I'm using um, blue for the background or green or um, um, yellow or even you know pink or kind of like a magenta then I do you do paint the sides first uh, it helps a lot because if you don't then later on it gets it just doesn't work properly because those colors are kind of a little bit transparent so um, you will see the lines the streaks going down on the side and then you will have to paint it afterwards anyways but if you paint it beforehand it's easier to you know just go over after the after you're done with your pouring and that usually works okay so my brown is almost done and I'm just going to yeah I think I'm just going to do the white first and then I will go ahead and do the sides. Okay. For the Dutch pores, you have to make sure that you have enough paint on on the canvas because if you don't have enough paint on it uh, when you blow it uh, the paint will ha won't have anything to glide over and then you will have a very hard time blowing it also if your paint is too thick it's also very hard to blow uh, so make sure that your paint is not too thick uh, but of course not too thin either because if it's way too thin then it's gonna get muddy really fast so play around with with the ratios, uh, whatever works best for you. I use Canela Sirocco's recipe and this works perfectly for me. I just tweak it a little bit when I use different kind of paints like when I did, um, you know, right now when I used the, the golden paint, I had to change it because th these, this recipe works best with the Artist Loft or those um, Liquitex Basics paints. But if you go a, a little bit, you know, towards the heavy body, then you need less paint and more kind of like a pouring medium or even water. If it's a better quality paint, then you can get away with adding more water. Okay, so the white is done. Just gonna run my finger around it to make sure that the sides are covered. Since this is not like that um, canvas, that uh, thicker one, it's very fast to do the sides. Okay, let me just quickly do the, these sides. So my sides are nicely covered. Let me see if this is straight. And now quickly I'm going to pop all the bubbles. so satisfying to see all these bubbles popping I do take my time with this part because if I don't then I will see these bubbles afterwards popping and ruining my painting and I don't like that so just make sure to go over uh, a couple of times don't stay at one spot because you will burn the paint okay I think we're good now. All right, 
time to layer the paint. All right, so let's start with Vermilion by Artist Loft. Next, I'm going to go to the gold by Liquitex Basics. I have two golds, so I'm layering them. Okay, now I'm going to go with Burnt Sienna. this espresso shade teeny bit okay maybe a little bit in here uh, I'm gonna go with yellow this is metallic lemon yellow artist loft Okay, now I'm going to go with this maroon. This is not completely um, warm. It's a bit on the cooler side too, but I think it will add some interest to it. Now I'm adding some copper. I feel like that espresso is it's kind of, I don't know, it's giving weird, it's kind of disappearing on the sides. I don't know. Let's see how it will going to work. And now I'm going to add old gold to my artist loft. I'm going to try to go over that because I don't like what that is doing. I might take that off from the big painting if it doesn't work properly. And now... This is um, raw umber. Okay. Right, let's pop the bubbles. Awesome. Just put these out of the way. Okay, it's time to bring out the hair dryer. Okay, I'm gonna do it on my full speed because my hair dryer doesn't really do much on the low speed. Um, if I get rid of all the white, I'm fine with that. I just want to blow it all in that direction. Um, I do want to keep this maybe a little bit, uh, but we'll see. So I think I'm going to start from here, bring it up, and then we'll see how it goes. I love that the vermilion looks really really pretty and I see that some cells popping that looks really cool Wow awesome I'm just gonna wait for it to develop a little bit more and I see some big cells in here too come some coming up in here really nice and I have enough space for my calligraphy beautiful okay um that's yeah that that worked out that worked well 
I hope it stays, <laughs> not just, you know, go over. I really, really love what's going on in here. And this part, this part, all of it is my favorite. I was looking for a place that's like a space, a part that's my favorite, but I love them all. They are so nice. I hope the white doesn't take over um, the cells that are coming up a little bit, um, but we'll see how far they go. So far, so good. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, a close-up. I'm gonna bring you down. I'm gonna show you the close-up close of, of this. Um, I will post it on my Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me, it's uh, AJ's Paintings. Um, and also I'll do it, I'll post it on my TikTok as well. Um, so same AJ's Paintings. Uh, I'm on Facebook with AJ's Paintings as well. Uh, so everywhere is AJS paintings. Um, so thank you so much for uh, subscribing, for watching my videos. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please do leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know you're here. Um, I love to see your comments and let me know if you would like me to work on a particular style uh, or some colors. I would love to do that. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to bring you down. Um, see you in my next video. Bye.